Hello, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. In this video, we're going to talk about how to become a priority to your specific person, how to be chosen by the person you love, how to be shown up for, how to be committed to. What does it take to become this person? That's what I'm going to dive into deeply in this video. Before I jump in, I'm so excited to announce that my latest offering called Chosen is opening right now. So this is the Chosen Masterclass and it is a live event. It's going to be two and a half hours with me and we are going to do the deepest self-concept work to change you into the person who knows you will be chosen, who knows you will be prioritized, who knows you will be chosen as the one. So I'm really excited to offer this masterclass to you. It's going live on January 5th. You get a workbook, a very in-depth workbook with the masterclass like you do with all of my courses, and the link for it is directly below. There are limited seats for this masterclass, so make sure you sign up if you want it. Okay, so let's talk about this. What are the two things that really are very, very important for you to do if you want to manifest being chosen or made a priority in your relationship? And I'm really talking to people who are both manifesting a specific person or maybe you're manifesting new love, but you have a pattern of not feeling chosen. So this is for both of you. Number one, what are we going to do? We're going to change ourselves. We're going to work on our self-concept. As you know, my favorite Neville Goddard quote is no one to change but self. When we really, really realize that, that there is no one to change but you, we get the keys to manifesting. So we are changing ourselves so that we can manifest a new reality. That's how manifesting works. Life is just reflecting back to you who you believe you are at a dominant level, what you think you have, what you think you will have, how you feel about yourself. All of that is being reflected back to you. And the self-concept work can't be skipped over, right? We, if you, if you take a look at your life, what you will find, and especially when you start doing this deep self-concept work, you will see that people will start to see you as you see yourself. And people will start to treat you the way you treat yourself. There's a direct reflection with who you think you are and who other people think you are. There's a direct reflection and we can't skip over that part and just go right into what someone else thinks about. That's going to be step two. We'll talk about that in a second. We have to really do the deep inner work to change who we believe we are. Changing who you believe you are is going to start with changing the way you think about yourself. That's going to help change the way you feel about yourself, changing the stories you have about yourself, changing the words you are saying to yourself as you're moving about your day. You're telling yourself things about yourself all the time. So when we are manifesting and when we're changing our self, our self-concept, you are starting to tell a new story about who you are. When it comes to being chosen, being prioritized, being wanted, what is the story you're going to start telling more and more and more and more? That story is along the lines of, I love being shown up for. I love being so wanted. I love being so cherished. I love being so prioritized. Now, you're changing the story and you're making that new story more dominant than the old story that you've been running. And maybe you've been running that old story for a really long time. What happens when we're running an old story of not being chosen and not being prioritized is we get that reflection from the 3D, so we don't feel prioritized, we're not being chosen, and we pay really close attention to the 3D. We think that's the truth of who we are, and it embeds your self-concept even more of not being chosen. So we really have to do this deep dive inner work to fully change who you are. This is a process this is a practice. This is why I make all of my manifesting courses, including the chosen masterclass, because it's a pathway, a structured pathway with exercises exactly for what you can do to start shifting the way you think about yourself, shifting the way you feel about yourself. And eventually you will shift who you believe you are. And when you step into that self, who knows you are chosen, who knows you're wanted, who knows you are prioritized, it will automatically manifest. It has to, because life is just reflecting you back to yourself. 
So the second step in manifesting being chosen, once you've built your self-concept, once you're doing amazing with self-love, once you are knowing that you're incredible, you know, it's going to happen. You're going to do the second step simultaneously, but it's alongside. And once like the building of the self-concept is the most important part. So once that's, you're getting some momentum with your self-concept, then you're going to move into the second step. The second step is changing your perception of reality changing your perception of what's going on. Again, this is a practice. Everything we do in manifesting is a practice. It doesn't happen all at once. But what this is going to entail is when you're still seeing experiences in your 3D of not being chosen, not being shown up for, not being wanted, we really want to take our focus off that and move it back into the new story. And we want to start telling a story that, of course, this person wants to show up for me. Of course, this person has it in them to show up for me. Of course, like their deeper self, their higher self, however you want to say it, is ready to show up for you. That's the new story you want to be telling. You're telling the story because you are, you are manifesting the version of your person to show up how they're showing up with you is based on who you believe you, they are, a combination of who you believe they are and who you believe you are. That's who's showing up in front of you. And so the second piece of the work is we're shifting them. We're shifting how we see them. We're shifting how we see our, ourselves. We're shifting how we see the situation. You're constantly redirecting yourself into a new story of who you are. And if your goal is to become the embodied version of that new self. That's what we're always doing when we're manifesting. We're literally stepping into a new version of ourselves. So there is a version of you who knows you are here to be chosen, without a doubt. It's an unshakable, unwavering knowing. This is the self-concept I have developed for myself. This is how I feel in my relationship. I don't waver from feeling like I'm gonna be chosen by my man. I don't waver. Perhaps I've had fleeting thoughts here and there, but nothing that is like the truth to me. And because my self-concept is so ingrained in the knowing that I'm going to be show up for, that's what I continue to manifest. That's what manifesting is. It's like we're, we're just creating everything that appears in front of us, how people think about us, what they see when they look at us, what they feel about us. We're creating it constantly with our own inner worlds. So you really have the power to create the reality where you are chosen, you are prioritized, you are shown up for in the biggest way possible. And I can't wait to show you how in my deep dive masterclass. So if you want to see for that masterclass, go ahead and click the link below. If you don't want to join the masterclass, that is okay too. Just do what I say in this video. Change your self-concept to know you are chosen. Do that inner work. You will change. And when you change, your reality will change too. Thank you guys for being with me. I'll see you soon. Bye.